Yeah, hello, hello. Welcome back to The World is Beautiful again. Yeah, tonight it's only me, Sebastian Schmieck, <laughs> trying to do some maintenance work. Yeah, as part of this piece, which usually I do together with Lena Schwarzenberg, who tonight cannot be here. So it's me alone, but yeah, last two sessions I think Lena did by herself, so now it's my turn. and. Yeah, we promised to do some maintenance work on the world. So when you out there send us some photos through the world is beautiful again.com, we will try to repair the world that you photographed, try to fix what we see there, make it yeah better, beautiful, heal it, I don't know, all these things. And yeah. Yeah, I haven't been Part of the stream for some weeks because I've been traveling, many things uh, clashing with the live stream and so on, but now I'm here. <laughs> and yeah, it feels kind of lonely without Lina. Lina. Let's see if I can do it or if I will fail. So yeah, I will do it as always. Go to our little tool where we can see all the photos that people have uploaded. And actually, I will start with a photo that I've uploaded myself. So let's open it in, in Photoshop and take a look at it. So yeah, to maybe explain a bit what is going on here. Um, a few weeks ago I was in Australia for an exhibition and uh, when I, yeah, one day after taking a long walk through the city, of Melbourne, I returned to the accommodation and there was somebody sleeping and I was in, a, in an area I think that was quite nice but I noticed there were also quite some people sleeping in the streets and I, I, I took this photo and I have to say maybe me taking the photo is sort of part of the problem like what is why do I take this photo I think usually of course I wouldn't have taken this photo it's really uh, yeah why 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 should i do that why would i be allowed to do that but then yeah i think we've talked about that in earlier streams you thought of we try or at least we try to develop this repair vision like looking at the world trying to look at things that can be repaired or that we sort of pretend that could be repaired using ai tools so yeah we are using photoshop here and of course we are failing every time i would say and in this case obviously it's a sort of i would say Let's, let's take a closer look. So it's a, it's a bit hard to tell. Um, I would assume this is not a person, well, it, it, it could be a person coming home from a party and they forgot their key and they couldn't get in or all this, or um, it's, it's somebody who is in more serious trouble, I don't know, um, mental health issue and so on or I don't know what, what whatever the reason is here and um, so basically I, ca I can't fix the, the 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 underlying issue but what I can try to do is work on what I'm seeing here and as I said I think part of the problem of this is me actually sort of taking the photo so maybe we can do this or I can do this and maybe I can try to make the situation more comfortable so the person is laying on the hard floor, it's a bit dirty. And maybe I can try to work on that and then later I can build something around the person so it's not, yeah, the person is not sleeping in the open anymore but is sort of shielded away from people like me taking photos, yeah. And what we can see here is the person has also taken off their shoes, sort of, yeah, hidden, in the corner, sort of, I would say, probably protected for, from other people taking the shoes. So yeah, what I want to try out first is there is this tool, I don't know what it's called in English, in German, it's an object, Auswahlwerkzeug, it's a, an object selection tool. And let's see um, what I can select in this photo. So what does pho Photoshop think is in the photo and what, how does it sort of, um, separate the contents of the photo in distinct layers or areas. So what I can select is the, the ground and I can select the person. Now, I'm not sure, to me, 
clothes look sort of fine so maybe i'm not working on the person but i will work on the floor so let's see let's yeah sort of naively go with this with this and appro like approach it in a naive way and say let's let's create a, a comfortable soft mattress or mattress like floor let's let's see comfortable soft mattress on the ground and let's see what photoshop does so i'm starting with this yeah and if if there is anybody actually watching this live and you are on twitch and you have a twitch account feel free to send me a message with any recommendations questions comments and so on okay so photoshop has generated a mattress the mattress this one um, looks a bit dirty the other thing that i'm noting here is the uh, it's the bottom part of an office chair so it, it, it looks like um, Photoshop has um, transported the person sleeping on the ground into an office and maybe it's, it's the Twitter slash X office people sleeping there let's see what is in the second image oh yeah there's actually the mattress it doesn't look too great but there is some impossible like unrealistic but sort of pensive looking furniture and in the third option yeah <laughs> the mattress is um, around the person so what photoshop has also done is in each of the photos it has sort of generated a wall so it has already transported the person inside of a building so the person is not sleeping inside anymore and Photoshop has made that decision by itself or it's this, this image generator and maybe I will go with that. So let's, let's see what is the most comfortable position. Yeah, maybe that, that mattress isn't so bad. Um, of course, the, the person looks very cramped into the corner, but I think there is not that much I can do about that. No, I can't. Oh, yeah, okay, so Photoshop because I can't. I, I can still select the. I can select the legs or I can select the bag or I can select the mattress. Can I add. Can I add a blanket? Can I maybe put a blanket on the person? So select this area. Maybe knees are sticking out. Um, cushion. That's probably not how you spell it. How is it spelled then? Cushion. I don't know. So let's only say blanket. Or can you do it in German? Kissen und Decke. Auf Matratze. Let's generate it. Yeah, I feel with this project we have like different different images and that's yeah are putting us as those doing the maintenance repair work into different positions. There are images that are sort of fun and they are interesting to react to in, an, in, in a late, say maybe a funny spontaneous way and there's others that, like this which um, puts me into in a, in a different position sort of reacting to that person that is actually laying there so what what I've done what, what Photoshop has done is it has generated lots of cushions and no blanket and it has sort of removed the person and I don't think this is great turning the person into yeah, this is not good. I will do a last attempt. And let's say this is our person 
sleeping on the blanket, comfortable blanket generated. Of course, the question is always, what kind of training material has Photoshop seen? So what can it generate? And it has seen some blankets, maybe, I don't know, nothing looks particularly great. Then maybe this isn't so bad. Maybe this isn't so bad. Yeah. And yeah, as I said in the beginning, I think part of the problem is also the person being vulnerable, vulnerable to other people like me taking pictures and so the person is hiding their shoes though also vulnerable to other people playing and yeah interfering and stealing their stuff so maybe we build something around here so we um, can we put the tent around this Maybe it isn't great either, but at least something. Let's see. Hello, Christoph. Hello. That is great. Christoph is here. Okay, so tent maybe isn't too bad, but I have to say the way I selected the area, yeah, the tent looks terrible. Uh, okay, no, no, the temp is... Like if you open the temp, the person is gone. Mm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm torn a bit because on the one hand I think, okay, great, the person doesn't have to sleep there anymore, so the person has actually left. On the other hand, I still feel uncomfortable doing something that just gets rid of the person, which I think probably isn't the right thing to do. Feels a bit brutal, so maybe let's try to... Still a weird shape for a tent. Maybe make a smaller tent just around here. Yeah, what is the goal with this one? Yeah, yeah, we try to make the, the world a better place using artificial intelligence, joining the digital maintenance workforce out there. Ah. So the, the goal with this specific, specific one. So yeah, to, to, to summarize what I'm trying to do here. So I, there is a photo of a person sleeping in the street in front of a building. First, I'm trying to make uh, the person more comfortable sleeping on a, um, the, on, on a mattress, giving the person a blanket. And now I'm trying to give the person some shelter in a tent or something, but yeah, as you can see, every time Photoshop generates an open tent and gets rid of gets rid of the person, so I need to say closed tent, a closed tent. What else? Yeah, closed tent. Maybe that's it. Yeah. So this this is actually a bit more difficult than I thought. Generating a tent around a person. Yeah, yeah, I could adjust the mask of the generative field. That is a very good... Oh, I could have closed the tent. Opening, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that is actually totally true. I could have closed the tent, but still I would have the impression that... Because, yeah, maybe... Maybe, maybe that's a good... Good advice. So I... I try to yeah no the, the we have thought of i don't know why we have this rule the the rule is sort of that we do we actually allow ourselves to to work on the mask we have never done that so we always generate parts but we never then work on the thing that has been generated we never erase parts of it but maybe i should um
So, okay, let's again. Closed tent, closed tent, no inside. Let's do a, a, a last attempt. Yeah, and then I will probably follow your advice and put the person back into the tent. Oh, look, look, this is, I think, this is what I had in mind. Um, oh, no. Person's got no tent. So now at least the person has a tent and is, yeah, backseating. Yeah, look, we're all backseating. I'm just putting some commands into Photoshop and then I'm backseating on everything that is being done to what is inside of the image. So yeah, we all, all we are all in the backseat here. But I think this one, uh, to, 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 I think I, I will wrap this image up, like call it like done. I think what I've done is I've made it more comfortable for the person. I have uh, shielded the person away from people like me taking pictures, but I've sort of still kept the situation, um, not claiming that I can fix it entirely. So I will save it. And yeah, if you are at any time unhappy with um, something we we are doing, you can then go to the world is beautiful again.com and re upload the image. But what I'm doing now is I will, and we can see before and after. I will upload the image, call it done, and if it now it appears on the website, if you think it was not well repaired, you can upload it again. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Yeah, let's have a look. Um, I find this photo utterly confusing. So to me, it looks like the inside of a bus, people sitting on chairs inside of a bus. Um, let's start with this detail because I'm curious, where is it? And to me, it looks like it's it's in Germany because this bag here looks like a, a, a paper bag from a bakery in Germany. But obviously there is something really weird going on. Two things are weird in this image. There is a lot of sand in this bus or whatever it is. And there is also this floor, which does not look like a floor inside a bus at all. Like this looks like the inside of some, I don't know, it even looks like a, a terrace. So it's a weird mixture of inside of a bus and a terrace. Now, what should we do here? Do we clean up? Put all the sand back. Maybe we can put it back into that suitcase here. Or do we get rid of everything but the sand? Now, if once again, what is Photoshop thinking? Can we? No, let's let's do this. I imagine photo family Discord. Yes, that's totally okay. Yeah, yeah, Christoph, uh, a sand castle in the bus. Very good idea. What I was just about to do is I wanted to generate a beach because I think what we can do here is like people are on the bus on their way to the airport, then flying to I don't know what island, and maybe we can just teleport their island into the bus. So yeah, let's totally put the sand castle in here. So it's 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 a win for the person or the people inside of the bus. It's it's great for the environment. Nobody's flying. Okay, let's say beach with a sand castle with a big sand castle. Yeah, let's see. It's 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 sometimes disappointing what Photoshop generates because it's yeah it's disappointing and sometimes really surprisingly good. Okay, here are <laughs> here are some 
extremely perfect sandcastle. I mean, from, from my experience as a father, I can tell you I've never managed to do such great sandcastles. These look <laughs> closer to what I'm capable of building. Yeah, once again, this is a perfect one. Christoph, do you have a favorite one? I mean, what's your idea? I have to say I like... Last one, that one is pretty good. Oh, these simple ones are also sort of fun. Yeah, let's maybe go for these. These are good. Yeah, hey. Maybe we can say this photo is repaired. I wonder what is over here. No idea, but I will keep it. But I feel like we need a tiny bit more sand around here. And then this looks like a good beach with simple sand castles. But it has made a, it created a pancake made out of sand. Yeah, no, this makes no sand. It's, it makes no sand and no sense. Delete it. Okay. Export for web. Save. And let's have a look. Before, messy. After beach sand castles good put it in here done yeah and just for those who don't know it so this is the website the world is beautiful again.com and everything we repair then appears on the website so now we here have the person i tried to put into a tent here we have the sand castles and now this is the last image I have to fix for today. Let's open it in Photoshop and take a closer look. Okay, so what do we see here? Water and I would say somebody's ice cream, like a cone, has it's been dropped, fell into water, and yeah, this is sad. This is really sad, and it sort of, it, it fits to the photo that I've worked on earlier. So what can we do here? Um, we, we can, like, if I now create a new ice cream, it will still be in the water, so... We need somebody's hand would freeze half. Yeah, Christoph, so many good ideas. And let's try that. Let's, let's, okay. Photoshop doesn't allow me to select the water. I have to do it myself. So let's do it like this. Select the cone, maybe I select a correctly shaped cone. And then, um, um, frozen icy water, and we see what happens. Ah, it could be a horn. Yeah, yeah, I see. It could be a horn sticking out of the water. So it's it's not an ice cream dropped into the water, but it's uh, a, a whale's... Ooh, it's a whale's horn sticking out of the water. So here we have ice cream on ice first. 
Ice cream in ice second. Ooh, oh, big surprise. No, that's not what I described, but it's actually a great thing. So <laughs> there is somebody on the ice paving the ice cream. It's a bit weird that the person, yeah, no, actually it makes sense. The person is holding part of the ice cream in their right hand and with the left hand, they are trying to rescue the ice cream from the ice, from the ice. Um, that's it. I think that was quick, but there is nothing I can do about this one that makes it any better. So yeah, just wish you luck, whoever you are on the ice. Don't freeze yourself. I hope you will get the ice cream out of the ice. Don't get stuck yourself and I will save you. Let's save it. Yeah, okay, so just to, to document this, the, 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 um, the prompt was frozen icy water. So I did not describe any person doing anything with the ice cream. It's just, just what Photoshop did by itself. Great. Let's take a look. This is what we started with. And this is the result. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Christoph. And thank you, everybody out there. That was pretty good help. Now let's upload this one. Ah, shit. What am I doing? Mm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Done. Um. That's it. Yes, you can see my browser is, is empty. There's nothing to repair anymore. So yeah, if you walk outside somewhere, walk around the city, wherever you live, or if you're surfing the web or wherever you are, and you see something that needs to be repaired, fixed, removed, and so on, feel free to take a screenshot, take a photo, upload it to our website, and Lena and me, we will try to fix it and make the world beautiful again. Yeah, thank you for being with me, making me a bit less lonely and see you next week. I'm waving. Bye bye.